Good morning and welcome to our meditation. Today is the 10th of November and it is really uh, getting grey and rainy, snowy on the Pyrenees and rainy here on the coast. This is really autumn, isn't it? It's a beautiful season, but it is damp sometimes here. Welcome to our meditation. Today I would like to read with you in 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 5. Now, the one who has fashioned us for this very purpose is God, who has given us the Spirit as a deposit, guaranteeing what is to come. Now, the one who has fashioned us, who has prepared us for, for this, is God. He's talking about the white dress that we have received when we became, uh, when, when we were saved by grace. And as well, he's, pre- uh, he's talking about the day when life is going to swallow up death forever. And who has prepared us for this? God has done so. He's, it is the same thing that he's going to say in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 17 and 18. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old one has gone. The new is here. All, all this is from God who reconciled us to himself through Christ and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. All this is from God. You have become a new creation. You are dressed in white. You are covered with Christ's righteousness. And this is all from God. It's not because you are a Protestant or a Catholic or an Orthodox or because your father is a pastor, not a priest, if you are if your father is a priest, I mean, that doesn't work. But imagine if you, you, you believe you, you, belong, you belong to Christ because you've got a religion. No, it's not because you've, you've got a religion. It's all by grace. It's because you have received the gift of eternal life. This is all from God. God has prepared you for that. And God not just saves you, but he gives you a guarantee and this, the word for guarantee here, it could be called the, 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 the ring that uh, a man gives to his bride, preparing her for the wedding day. That's the word. The word is still used in Greek, apparently, today. And it's used as a ring that is given to a bride to wait for the day of the wedding, the wedding day. This is the Holy Spirit that God has given us. You are not on your own. God is, is not saving you and leaving you to, to decide what you're going to do with your own effort. You are going to obey the law of Moses. You are going to obey the law of the denomination. No, you don't need to obey any law. You just need to trust in God's grace because God has given you his spirit. His spirit is in you. And Paul is saying here that this is the guarantee that we have. The word, the same word for guarantee appears in Ephesians chapter 1 verse 4. Who is a deposit? He's talking about the Spirit. Guarantee our inheritance until the redemption of those who are God's possession to the praise of his glory. He's prepared you and he has given you your his spirit. And Paul is saying here in Ephesians chapter 1 that the spirit of God is the guarantee. It's like the, 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 the ring that God gave to his bride waiting for the great day when we are going to be before him eating at the supper of the Lamb, at the Lamb's Supper. And that day is going to be the wedding day. But wait, as we wait for that day, God has given us his spirit. You are not on your own. The Spirit of God is in you. God bless you.